Snug pack. Snug pack. Why you do this to me? Why you do why you make a perfectly good sleeping bag and then screw it up by installing really really cheap crappy zippers? What is going on guys? Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. In this episode, we're looking at the Snug Pack Softy Elite 5 Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. Hey, and before we get into it, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know about the new content that we're coming out with each and every week, sometimes twice a week. Let's get into it. I ordered this sleeping bag through Amazon. It's the Snug Pack Softy Elite 5. You know, Snug Pack is a really interesting company. They're very innovative. I, I have some of the other products. I've got the, the Jungle Blanket. Uh, I really like what they're doing as a company. I ordered this this sleeping bag because I wanted a zero degree bag and it seemed to get really good reviews mostly there were a couple of reviews that mentioned that the zippers were terrible and I didn't think that much of it so I went to Amazon click the the order button and the next day while it was still being you know prepared to ship uh, I stumbled across a video on YouTube a video review by a an army grunt, a guy who um, has a YouTube channel called Grunt Proof. The guy's name is Randall. Really seems like a really nice guy. Seems like a really experienced guy. He's been in the army for something like, I don't know, 20 years or something. And in his video, he was comparing the Snug Pack to, uh, I can't remember, I think either the military sleep system bag uh, or the Corinthian Defense 4 sleeping bag. And uh, he was showing the difference between a military inspired bag whatever that means versus an actual military bag and the main difference what he was showing was that the military bags use big like ykk style zippers zippers that don't get caught in the fabric and he also showed that if you need to get out of the bag in an emergency when you have those big zippers you can just simply pull it apart and the bag unzips which i thought is a pretty cool feature especially if you're out Know, camping in places where you know who, who knows what may happen you just need to get out of the bag really fast um, so I, I, I watched that review kind of sat in the back of my head the bag arrived I pulled it out of the stuff sack comes in a, with a really nice compression stuff pack laid it out just on my bed and immediately unzipped it tried to zip it up again and it snagged and it got caught and it took me about 10 minutes to get it to get that fabric unstuck from the from the zipper zipped it up unzipped it again got snagged again 15 minutes later finally get it unstuck now I'm really starting to get concerned so I unzip it all the way and basically it's got like a I don't know how to describe this like a baffle almost that you can unzip all the way and then it gives you extra width in the bag again really great feature so I zipped it up with that it seemed to be a little bit better and then after a couple times got stuck again so really concerned take it out with me to uh to test this tent i'm in the gazelle t4 overland edition tent last night it didn't get super cold but it got down to about 35 which was cold enough and i've got a fleece liner that i use just so i don't you know dirty the bag so the oils of your skin don't dirty the bag and the reality was I couldn't zip this thing all the way up because I was worried that the zipper was going to get stuck. So I had to have it open, you know, or could only zip it up to about, I don't know if you can see this, about, about to here. Which means that I was losing a lot of warmth. Why? Because I was afraid if I zipped it up all the way I was going to get stuck inside the bag and wouldn't be able to get out. So I just don't think that this bag is dependable. 
I, you know, in, in really severe cold weather, I mean, it's, it's rated to be good down to zero degrees. I typically take that with a grain of salt. So if I'm going to be in 20 degree conditions, I want a zero degree bag. I just can't, can't depend on it because of the zippers. I need a bag that has the big YKK zippers. And I don't understand why they didn't put those zippers in this bag. It's a perfectly good bag. Otherwise, I, I mean, Carhartt puts the giant, the giant zippers on their sweatshirts even. So snug pack, come on, you're a great company. But charge me the extra 10 bucks if you have to and put a better quality zipper on this bag because you're gonna ultimately, you're gonna have a much better product. And secondly, I feel like this bag, if it was designed properly with a proper zipper, could save lives. With the zipper that it has on it, I wouldn't depend on it. And I'm certainly no, you know, extreme hiking Mount Everest kind of guy. But if I am in a situation just up in northern Nevada somewhere, or maybe Utah or Idaho, and it gets really cold, I, I don't feel like I can depend on this bag. So I'm still on the hunt for the perfect bag where I'm at right now. And it's such a shame. I think with Black Friday, uh, with the Black Friday deal, this ended up costing me like 116 bucks, which is a very, very economical price point. Charge me the extra 10 or 15 bucks or whatever you need to to put a good zipper in this bag and you'll have a real winner. Until you do that, it's real hard to recommend this bag or any of the Snug Pack bags that don't have YKK zippers on them. I would be really curious to see if you've had the same experience with your Snug Pack sleeping bags. So comment below if, if you've experienced the same thing, either with Snug Pack or with any other brand. To be perfectly honest, I've experienced this quite a bit with a lot of different, uh, more economically priced sleeping bags. So I'm not sure it's necessarily specific to Snug Pack. It may just be a cost cutting measure that they they try and save a few bucks by putting in a cheaper zipper. Anyways, I'm Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when we come out with new content, which is typically at least once, sometimes twice a week. Stay safe, guys.